hello and welcome back to episode 15 of Russia in Victoria 3 where we're playing as Russia in Victoria 3 we are going for the caretaker achievement which is to complete the egalitarian society journal entries we are struggling a little bit with this we need to get our literacy up we need to get our standard of living up and we need to get our pet more of our peasants working so our population just continues to skyrocket um, we are just continuously building as many buildings as we can to get our people working and to keep our economy afloat uh, and meanwhile we are dealing with rebellions it is 1918 we have until 1936 to complete this so we're doing what we can Hopefully we can get this um, rebellion wrapped up up here in um, in Finland. I'm going to raise my taxes a little bit just to get my money back in the positive. And then I can just go ahead and lower them again. Um, this revolution is teetering. Now we have a low percentage of people that want to enact the Council Republic. We have a lot of people that don't. I think I'm just going to end this. It is not worth the hassle of a revolution. So we'll get that ended. We'll go ahead and boost this back up. I'm just going to bounce that back and forth to keep our income at a good pace. Uh, we can even go ahead and put a porcelain tax out there for now. Just doing what we can to continue expanding our country, growing our standard of living, our population, um, getting our people working, and trying to get our people reading. It's probably not worth enacting too many of these because these are just going to decrease employment. So, yeah, I don't think those are really worth our time. Like, overall, we are in a pretty solid spot. I would consider building up some more construction sectors just to keep building everything as fast as possible. Oh, are they pushing us back? Okay, let's throw another army there. And uh, let's get a naval invasion going over here. Circle back around the um, other side of them. And we should be good to get that taken care of. I'm not going to fire a general. It's not necessary. Let's go ahead and push through a luxury furniture tax too. Just do what we can do to boost up our income a little bit so we don't go bankrupt. That would definitely be a little bit um, disruptive for us. And we don't want to have to deal with that. So. Alright, well we made them split their troops up. If I send you over here. British that are causing us issues. Let's go ahead and get an invasion down here as well. We've discovered oil in Oman. Well, somebody has. I don't think we control Oman, actually. 
can build up some more oil rigs there though. We're getting our oil build up is going to be very important. What is our market looking like? What is expensive? Rubber. We need rubber. Build up all the rubber we can at least. Definitely recruit a general for this army. And we can recruit a general for that army. Maybe even get ourselves another one in the Russian HQ as well. And we'll go ahead and promote him at least once. this point we're at least dividing up their forces yeah this should be enough to push us in this war so we'll try and get a naval invasion off down here. Military or Fort Revolt and Darfur, huh? And send like one guy down here to just deal with it. We need to raise our budget more. The only thing is this cor this war is costing me quite a bit of money. There we go. We'll hold on there. Finally pushing our way back into these directions. Uh, we should go ahead and what are we on Miltex? Sure, behaviorism's fine. Orthodox Church, yeah, let's let the people know of his depravity. We're going to lose this war. Yeah, we're not going to be able to recover it in time. The freaking British jumping in is what caused the issue. Got to raise our taxes even more to stay positive. People are definitely not liking that. That's hurting our standard of living. And Finland's free. of money too.
Losing Finland's not the end of the world. I really actually don't care about it. Our standard of living is plummeting, though. From this. Plummeting from having our taxes this high. And I really don't want to go bankrupt. Could you guys just give up on this war, please? Trying to get our standard of living back up. As soon as this war is over, we'll be good on money because we won't be spending it on the military. Correct? No? We're even worse off? Why are we worse off? Or do we have something else? Do we have another revolt or something? Why are we losing so much money? Is it what we're building? It's gotta be what we're building. What are we building? I mean, war machine industry should be covered though. of that. Uh, these are all taken care of. So we'll keep focusing on mill tech then. And um, let's go ahead and I guess we have the best government we can have. And the Conservative Party won the election, so... Yeah, there's... Not really much we can do... To make the government any better. We are spending a ton of money on these war industries right now. Hopefully as soon as they're built, we'll be in much better financial shape. Whereas the universities we're building that are costing us all the money. Oh, we are losing even more. <laughs> Alright, we're in default. 
That is not good. That's not good. Not war up against time like we are. Keep on building. Positive on the income. So we're finally starting to build things that we need to. our taxes around a little bit it's to try and keep ourselves out of default and keep building I feel like the university should help with our uh, technology spread so they're definitely worth it I'm just gonna keep bouncing this around None. We're already using oil fired fired power plants. Paper, we're short on paper, huh? Our paper industry. Try and get more of our people working. If we lower taxes a little bit more, it'll help our standard of living bounce back. do kind of need wood too. as we can. Uh, we're going to need to send just like one general down here to deal with this. We're getting our literacy up. 
growing our population quite fast. I see this. Still 42% are peasants. Oh man, I'm not going to be able to get that, that number down fast enough, I don't think. I mean, realistically, I think I just expanded too fast. Mexico, whatever. Lower our taxes a little more. I can just send one of these guys down here. Finland. Okay, we're getting our standard of living back up. I guess we'll recruit another... general and send them down here. Annex Communist Congo. Why can't I send a general down here? Our standard of living is recovering. Our population is continuing to grow. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to outgrow our needs. Hmm. <laughs> We're building a lot of paper, we're building a lot of wood. We build a lot of this. Okay, let's let's just go ahead and build up like basic needs. And that should make it cheaper for our people to buy it. Which means we should be able to get their standard of living up. stuff build up a 
bunch of clothing factories. Furniture factories. Assembly? Really? I don't know why you guys would want that. Uh, Hanover with a defensive pact with an obligation. I mean, I guess, whatever, I don't care. Go ahead and lower our taxes a little bit more. Our standard of living is almost recovered. Our literacy is up to 80% and growing. Guess we'll send you down here. is wiped up soon and we can focus on this other one just want to make sure we don't have any oil wells to construct Expensive military goods, tolls, radio, and opium. Let's go ahead and import some tools. Import some glass. I mean, we have plenty of stuff to do, so let's start sapping everything we can off of other people. Some of that from the Italians. Get some coffee from the British. We'll get some tea from a couple places. Luxury furniture. Not much to be had. But let's definitely suck up some explosives. Not really much in the way of clothes. trade agreement with you. I'll take paper as well. Alright, 
So our standard of living is almost back up to where it was. We can go ahead and cut another tax. Are you guys rebelling again? Jeez, oh Pete. They just won't stop. I'll import whatever oil I can. I really don't care about that. That's fine. I'll import opium from the British, sure. I just want to suck up as many goods as from I can I can from other people as possible. I mean, we have the um, ability to do it, and it should boost our standard of living. And even having excess of these goods isn't going to be that much of an issue. Just suck as much as I can off the rest of the world. Yeah, it might even cost us money, but whatever it takes to keep the people happy. Our literacy will keep going up, our population is going to keep growing. There is some want for a command economy, but I don't think that that would help out much. I feel like that might hurt. I feel like that might hurt a lot. So. I'm going to try and avoid that. Um, I think this is a good place to end this episode, though. So, uh, if you liked the episode, I'd appreciate a like. If you really liked it, I would appreciate a subscription. And I really hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.